And need I remind people that the yellow brick road does not exist? That it's an actual fictional piece of infrastructure? I mean, I know that you really use that reference, madame, because it does reflect what your brother has done during his presidency. He dreamt up of infrastructure that he only drew in his sketchbooks, but never actually built. And that this current president has built, built, built. But then again, you didn't really need to know that because you have run out of people to die for you. So you can use it as a pity card to win the next elections. So now since that's not an option, you're going to use your children. Mm, you're going to be an advocate. You can use your platform to advocate against children being bullied, but you're not going to run for office and think it's going to scare the majority of the Filipino people because, madame, just in case nobody has told you, we really don't like your family. It's really nice to see that the Filipino people can see right through the lies that has been fed to us for decades. When in reality, your lies have now caught up with you. You say that you are the solution to the problems of the Philippines, when in fact it is you that have caused this country to be sick. The reason why this country is sick is being run by a party that is jaundiced. And now you're going to pretend that you're the victims and that you need to take back the power? That's not going to happen for you, boo. You are never going to get back, not even if Smartmatic will help you. Because what you are is naturally losing. And what we do to cockroaches is we eradicate them. And what we do to jaundiced leaders, we just don't elect them in place. Pinoy pa rin ang malakas, just in case.